welcome to this video tutorial on glaucoma and cataracts. Glaucoma and cataracts are both degenerative eye diseases that are a natural part of aging and can lead to the permanent loss of vision. Glaucoma is a group of eye diseases that damage the optic nerve, a bundle of nerve fibers connecting the retina to the brain. This damage is caused by increased intraocular pressure, IOP, or pressure in the eye, resulting in permanent loss of peripheral vision. A cataract is a clouding or opacity of the lens of the eye that leads to gradual painless blurring and eventual loss of vision. First, we'll take a look at glaucoma, no pun intended. In a normally healthy eye, the clear fluid that fills the anterior chamber flows in and out to continuously nourish the nearby tissues. This fluid leaves the chamber through the trabecular meshwork, which is like a drain where the iris and cornea meet. In open angle glaucoma, there is a wide and open angle between the iris and cornea. The fluid passes too slowly through the drain and there is a slow clogging of the drainage canal, resulting in increased eye pressure. This is the most common type of glaucoma and may also be called chronic or primary glaucoma. Angle closure glaucoma, a less common form, has a narrow or closed angle between the iris and cornea. It is caused by the quickly developing blockage of drainage canals resulting in a sudden rise in intraocular pressure. This leads to severe pain, nausea, redness, and blurred vision. The symptoms and damage of this type are usually very noticeable, demanding immediate medical attention. Other less common forms of glaucoma include secondary glaucoma and congenital glaucoma. Secondary glaucoma refers to glaucoma in which there is an identifiable cause of increased eye pressure, such as eye injury, inflammation, certain drugs such as steroids, and advanced cases of cataracts or diabetes. Treatment usually includes medications, laser surgery, or conventional surgery. Congenital glaucoma occurs in babies when there is an abnormal development of the eye's drainage canals during the prenatal period. It is rare, may be inherited, and can often be corrected with microsurgery or treated with medication and surgery. General signs and symptoms of glaucoma include the following. Open angle glaucoma has no signs and symptoms in the early stages. It is a slow, progressive loss of peripheral vision, tunnel vision, persistent dull brow pain, difficulty adjusting to darkness, and failure to detect color changes. Signs and symptoms of closed angle glaucoma include severe eye pain causing nausea and vomiting, decreased and blurred vision, halos around lights, the conjunctiva are red and the cornea hazy, and permanent blindness if the intraocular pressure is too high for 24 to 48 hours. The signs and symptoms of congenital glaucoma include enlarged eyes, cloudy cornea, light sensitivity, and excessive tearing. Glaucoma is diagnosed using several painless tests in a comprehensive dilated eye exam. Tonometry measures the pressure in the eye. Ophthalmoscopy illuminates and magnifies the back of the eye. Gonioscopy uses a special mirrored magnifying lens to examine the drainage channels for proper fluid outflow. And a visual field test is used to measure any loss of peripheral vision. With early detection and treatment, glaucoma can almost always be controlled and vision preserved. However, once vision has been lost, it cannot be restored. Treatment is concentrated on lowering the pressure inside the eye to prevent damage to the optic nerve. This is most commonly accomplished with the use of eye drops or oral medications, some working to reduce the production of fluid in the eye and others allowing for faster drainage of fluid from the eye. Another treatment option is laser trabeculoplasty, in which a laser is used to create holes in the meshwork of the drainage canal to allow the fluid to drain easier. If these methods fail to decrease fluid pressure, conventional surgery, a trabeculectomy, is required to create a new drainage area so the fluid can accumulate and drain into the vascular system. Treatment of glaucoma is usually a lifelong process requiring frequent monitoring and constant treatment. Nursing tips for the patient with glaucoma include the following. Eye drops must be used regularly and consistently. If stopped, pressure in the eyes will increase to damaging levels. Someone with glaucoma should generally be examined every three to four months for the rest of their lives since there is no way to determine if the glaucoma is under control based on how they feel or their vision. With glaucoma as the second leading cause of blindness in the United States, cataracts are the number one leading cause of preventable blindness. 
A cataract is a clouding of the lens that leads to gradual painless blurring and eventual loss of vision. Cataracts are generally classified as senile, which is associated with aging, congenital, which are present at birth, traumatic, they are associated with injury, or secondary, they occur after other eye or systemic diseases. Risk factors for cataracts include age, increasing dramatically after age 65, prolonged exposure to sunlight, high dose radiation exposure, poorly controlled diabetes, smoking, trauma to the eye, and drug effects from corticosteroids, phenothiazines, and some chemo drugs. Signs and symptoms of cataracts include the following, gradual blurring and decrease of vision, glare at night when driving, faded colors, halos around light, cloudy white opacity behind the pupil, and sometimes vision improves when the pupil dilates at night. Cataracts are diagnosed with a direct inspection of the lens with an ophthalmoscope after pupil dilation. Surgery is the definitive treatment for cataracts with a success rate of 90 to 95 percent. Cataracts are removed when the visual impairment interferes with daily activities and is done as an outpatient surgery with the use of local anesthetic. 90% of patients achieve a corrected vision near 2020 after surgery. Phacoemulsification is the most widely used cataract surgery in the developed world, in which ultrasonic energy is used to emulsify the cataract lens. Then a new plastic lens is inserted. Another method of cataract removal is extracapsular cataract extraction, in which the lens and anterior capsule are removed and an intraocular lens is implanted behind the pupil and iris. Here are some nursing tips for a patient with cataracts. Prevent cataracts by wearing sunglasses and not smoking. Prior to cataract surgery, give structured preoperative teaching and ensure the patient has someone to transport them home. The patient will wear a protective dressing home, then an eye shield will be worn for two to three weeks at night to avoid accidental bumping or pressure during sleep. In most cases, the patient's life has been changed for the better because of improved vision. Now let's go over a brief review of glaucoma and cataracts side by side. Glaucoma is caused by a blockage of the drainage canals in the eye, which leads to increased intraocular pressure, causing damage to the optic nerve. There is a permanent loss of peripheral vision, as well as pain and halos around lights with closed angle glaucoma. It is treated with eye drops, oral meds, laser surgery, or conventional surgery to reduce pressure in the eye. A cataract, on the other hand, is a clouding of the lens, in which vision gradually gets blurry and leads to a loss of vision. There is usually a glare or halo seen around lights. It is treated with surgical removal of the cataract lens and a new lens is inserted into the eye. Ultimately, the progression of glaucoma can be slowed or stopped if treated early and cataracts can easily be removed with surgery. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on glaucoma and cataracts. And don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook.